you might wonder what critical thinking and success has to do with each other. And I'm here to tell you, it has everything to do with each other. And it all comes back into your mind. I want to tell you a story about when I was back in university and I was studying media. I was studying video filming and editing. And we had this one course that was called Critical Media Analysis. And at first I was like, what the hell is this? It's like, this is just weird. Why should I question everything? And why should I question the mainstream media? I, I just felt really weird about it. And the guy, the teacher who was teaching that was an Italian guy called Matteo. And I can still remember, like he, he was so energized and strict about it. It's like, you have to criticize the media. You have to think critically about the media and you have to think critically about yourself. And I think it was like a month into this course and I just had this breakthrough. I was like, oh shit, I've been a fool my whole life. I've trusted these big corporations. I've trusted the media. I've trusted my parents. I've trusted all the things that was programmed into me. And this was the turning point. I think I was like, 23 or something like that all my life changed like all the way i went to school changed because i started to be critical about everything i started to be critical about everything they taught us i started to be critical about religion history and everything and that opened up a totally new world for me and i became much braver. I, I started to do stuff. I went out of my comfort zone. I challenged stuff. This led to, to success in my snowboarding career. This led to success in my life. I went traveling and I, I, I basically started to live my dream. Then of course there were issues. I run into money problems. I had an accident. I broke my leg and then there was all kinds of stuff happening and I kind of went into this personal hell. Critical thinking was still the thing that also got me out of this because essentially I started to question everything about myself. I started to question, okay, how can I make this work? How can I not be this bum, be this loser and, and start making something out of my life? Okay, I became a father. That was like, I'm so grateful for that. And that changed the whole course. I started to challenge my brain. I started to meditate. I started to do more physical stuff. And I started really focusing on making a business work. Well, it wasn't as easy as I thought. And after a lot of failures, I'm now starting to get some traction. But the limiting beliefs almost took me down. And uh, at the moment, I've charged like $2,500 for a 10 week coaching service. And a year ago, I wouldn't believe it. I, I would say like, how the hell can you do that? And it wasn't easy. But once I got the idea that I need to make this work, I started to take action. Even if I wasn't ready, I wasn't perfect. I didn't have any idea on what I should do. So I decided I want to be some kind of coach and start coaching other people. At that particular time, I had a, a flow state, like a peak performance idea, but I just started to try out the, the whole thing and I discovered so much about myself. I discovered that I, I love to talk to people. I love to solve their problems. I love to come up with creative solutions to, to new things and, and, and form new perspectives. I also learned that talking to cameras and, and, and performing can be very liberating. But like before, I was super scared of it. I, I'm not even a native English speaker, so it, it was a challenge for me to, to kind of sit there and, and just go for it. But I challenge my own beliefs. And the thing is that our brains have different levels. There's the conscious mind and the, the subconscious mind. 95% or 
of all our beliefs and our patterns and our systems are in the subconscious mind. So if we trust the conscious mind and let that rule our life, we will never do anything great. We will never break out of that own zone. This is where like breaking your comfort zone and breaking your limiting beliefs comes down to getting into your subconscious mind and kind of reprogramming yourself. And the easiest way, at least for me, is by thinking critically about your conscious things. And, and every time if you're like, okay, this is a great idea, but I think I'm not ready or uh, I, I, I start this tomorrow or mm, maybe that's just not for me. Like these other people have this, this and that figured out and that's why they can succeed. No. What if you change your whole mind to be like, oh, every time you get that, that feeling that, oh, maybe not me, you change it and you're like, oh, maybe that's me. And you go and try it like imperfect action. That's the only way to get to this perfect action. What you see of, of like successful people and people who have already kind of gone through the, the early stages, the struggle phases, because for example, talking to a camera like five years ago, I, I used to like uh, stutter and I was like, hello world. Uh. Now I don't care. I just go with it. I don't even script the videos. I kind of have the topic in my mind. I maybe have some bullet points and then I go for it because I trust that I have the information that needs to come out and it's been working fine. If I keep doing this for several years, it will work even better because every time I do something, I can check it out and I'm like, oh, maybe I can do that better or maybe I can do this better or maybe I do everything worse and I'm like, oh shit, I need to take a break and then kind of gather myself and, and continue. And even this challenge I'm doing at the moment, I, I decided that I want to do like 30 days of, of videos on YouTube and I think I have like 18 or something. And this has taught me so much about myself, about how to create this, about making hooks that people are interested about. So the only way to learn is by doing and, and to get to that doing stage, you have to think critically about your own beliefs. And once you start switching that in your head, you're kind of free to do everything and, and you free yourself from this perfectionist thing and you free yourself from needing to get a certain outcome of something because you're focused on the input and the input is what matters and that you can control. I can control how many videos I shoot and release. I cannot control how many views these videos get or, or how many clients I get, but I'll still do it and probably this will grow my brand and, and I will have a lot more clients in the future than I would have if I didn't do this. So start thinking critically about everything and, and you will see changes in your life. And of course, there will be struggles. There will be people who are like, no, I don't want that you think like that. I want you to stay the same. And here's the interesting part. The people that say that they don't want you to change usually have benefited from you being a certain way. So everyone who resists your change, they are not really the supporters. Maybe they are just the takers. So there's this very simple solution to cut them out and let them think for a minute what they want to do. So bottom line, think critically and you will start changing your life. And, and once you start changing your life, you become more successful. And the annoying truth is that you only learn from your failures. And this is why every successful person on this planet has gone through a lot of failures over a long period of time. If you think that you want to get some quick wins and be, be, and be a millionaire in six months, good luck. If you find it, I'm really happy for you. Take care of your mental health.
that's it from this video my name is Mitz if you like this please like this if you have any comments about this critical thinking please comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next one